After breaking our front Dana 44 on our JK, we decided that it was time to upgrade to something a little bit beefier. In fact, we decided that what we really wanted was a Pro Rock 60. And after making a few phone calls, we were fortunate enough to actually be invited here to Dynatrack in Huntington Beach to see it being built. So uh, let's go check it out. I'm uh, Matt Green with Dynatrack Performance Products. I'm a welder fabricator. Uh, so what are we gonna be looking at first? We're gonna be pressing end forgings on tubes to start the process of housing construction. First step is machining the tubes. Brian handles that in the machine shop. Uh, I'm gonna press the end forgings on in this press and then machine them down to the clearances. Shop. Next, um, I'm going to weld the end forging to the tube. So I'm going to start off with a 3 16 to a quarter inch fillet weld all the way around as my first pass, and I'm going to do a cover pass. It's about um, you know like half an inch to five eighths. the tubes are welded, I have to let them cool uh, to ensure a proper press fit on housing. So this is our horizontal press where all Dynatrack housings are pressed together. take it next door so they can wash it, clean it up, and paint the ends and get ready for assembly. My name is Steve and I work for Dynatrack. I've been here eight or nine years, so I've been doing gears for a pretty long time. Right now we're going to be installing an ARV with uh, 530 gates and they're going in a Pro Rock. 